I've got five, I've got 10, I've got 25. Jobs for young people. This is one of my favorite days in San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you to the companies that are hiring. The City of San Francisco and United Way are calling on employers to create jobs and paid internships for San Francisco's youth. In 2012, President Obama issued a challenge, and the challenge was let's get disconnected young people back involved, connected to jobs, connected to education, and the opportunities for them. And so, Mayor Lee said, we should lead that challenge that said, the city will do 2,500 jobs and internships, private sector match me. That first summer, we did 5,200 jobs and internships, and, the, and we've been building ever since. Hi, my name is Heather Hubbard. I'm with UPS, and we'd like to pledge 50 jobs for youth this summer. Oh, excellent. Thank you. A large part of the program is the annual resource fair. This started off as a summer youth jobs event um, and program. And our first year, 35% of our young people ended up working full time. So we know that employers are looking for committed young people throughout the year. So we're excited about that. The resource fair tracks over 600 young adults ages 16 to 24 from all over the city and the greater Bay Area. We have both public and private partnerships here. So a lot of our employers come from organizations like Hertz Rent-A-Car and Salt and Straw and uh, many other private sector jobs. And then we also have our city staff here. So the, the airport is here, Starbucks is here, we've got retail, we have restaurants, um, we have offices. Uh, so the young people will get an opportunity to partner with so many of our great champions for, for youth jobs. For the past five years, we've probably hired over 300 youth to work as baristas, some of which have transferred to other Starbucks when they go to school or even promoted to shift supervisors and assistant store managers. If you're going to be doing a job, again, say at Starbucks, you know, the cashier opportunity for them allows them to understand math differently. If they're working at an architect firm, it helps them to understand algebra differently. If they're working for a media outlet, it helps them to understand writing and reading differently. So these are also educational opportunities that the mayor was really clear he wanted to be able to provide. We're going to be doing mock interviews. We're going to helping young people with their resumes. And so the idea is to A, expose them to the range of career opportunities, B, then make sure they're getting prepared for those opportunities educationally and in terms of their pre presentation skills so that by the time many of them leave here today, they'll leave here with jobs. They'll leave here with new relationships, building their network of opportunities so that they can thrive when they leave. I just came from the LinkedIn table. I think I could uh, talk to them a little bit more and I still have to check around the other booths to see who else is available. What I'm hoping to get from this event today is potentially a job, but also to have employers, you know, uh, potential employers come talk to me, interview me, have some practice talking to them. I just feel like this will be a good place if you're really looking for a job and an internship, and if you don't have nothing to do during summer, then you could do this, and then, you know, like, you get paid. Right when our young people walk in, we make sure that they get registered, we capture their information so that we can do follow-ups with them. And then the very front, we have a room that, that has the, um, it's our computer lab, and it's an opportunity for them to do their cover letters, for them to talk to someone about updating their LinkedIn profile, or to, just to think about how you do searches on the internet. Um, so we, we help walk them through that. Then we have another room where they can update their resume and they even conduct mock interviews and make on-the-spot job offers. We end up hiring about 100 young people today alone. Um, so it's, it's exciting because out of the you know, 600 and so kids that come through, 100 of them walk out with a job. A little bit nerve-wracking a little bit because it's my like, first um, real, I guess, job interview. Um, but it went great, I guess. As the youth get to go through experiences like today, it builds a great foundation for them. It uh, gives them a positive outlook, and more importantly, it gives them confidence to interview in the future. What we really want to do at the end of the day is excite every single young person with the possibility of what they could be, what they could do, and have them go back home going, okay, if I want to get there, let me do this educationally, let me connect to these, these kinds of adults, let me reach out to folks, and ultimately get on my path to doing something great for myself and my family. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Caitlin. My name is Caitlin Lopez. Um, I am 23 years old. I moved out to California, San Francisco, California, when I was about eight years old. And I was actually um, 
put in foster care at the age of like nine, 10. I had a baby at 16 years old. So I've kind of had like this crazy like youth experience. <laughs> Despite the challenges she faced early on, Caitlin finished high school and took advantage of the Mayor's Youth Jobs Plus program while in college. I heard about Mayor's Youth Plus program through my social worker and I interviewed with Enterprise after I got matched with them. You know, walking into the office, I was a little intimidated. I have never been in this type of office setting before. And once I got in the office with my supervisor, we bonded instantly and it just took away that intimidation. And I got a call from HR saying that I got the position. I was in. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, um, I have these two. We hired her for an eight week internship um, to see how she did. And we were really okay. impressed with her. She was only, only gonna work the eight weeks, but at the very end of the eight weeks, we did value her work. And at the end of her internship, we did offer her the position um, part-time. And uh, fortunately for us, she did accept it. Amber. I have these trades for you. It's been great working here. My team of five, we, we're pretty much like family. We support each other. I definitely feel like the Mayor's Youth Job Plus program helps me get this job. So without, you know, the Jobs Plus program, I, I probably would have um, not even had a job. In her case, she, she's a mother, she's now a mother of two, going to school full-time and working part-time, and she's making it happen. So um, if she can do it, definitely anybody um, that has the willingness to try, at least try, um, can make get it done. So these programs are amazing. They're so important for young youth, um, young adults, to, to really go out there and make a better future for themselves, despite you know, the hand they were dealt with, or despite not having a traditional upbringing, you could go out there and make something out of yourself based on all these programs are out there to help you. That's what these programs are for. They want you to, they want to help you succeed. We'll be committing to 25 jobs and internships. The San Francisco Recreation and Park Department is uh, hiring 350 right. youth this summer. Woo. Fantastic, thank you. I'm a native San Franciscan, only child born in the Fillmore. Um, and so for me, it was the network of community that made all the difference. There's no way I'd be here as COO of United Way except that this network was there. And so for me, this is personal and professional. It's so important that we create these opportunities because who knows, the next CEO, the next champion in the community is coming today to find their path. That's the way we roll in San Francisco. We roll by helping each other out. The goal for 2017 is to create 5,000 jobs and work opportunities for local youth. If you'd like more information about the Mayor's Youth Jobs Plus program, visit them at sfyouthjobs.org.